Oh, you the voice? Nah, not me. So if you're not the voice, who is? The people, man. The people's the voice. So what does that make you? That makes me the middleman. I'm the middleman. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Middleman Podcast. I am the man in the middle, Kevin Martinez, and today I am joined by the owner of Picturesque Luxury Picnics. Please welcome back the ever so lovely Gina Marie. Yes, that's me. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a pleasure, man. You've been here once before yeah. in episode 21. Oh, yeah. That was like almost two years ago. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I was looking at that and uh, I was like, wow, it actually really has been two years because uh, a lot of time has flown by. But nonetheless, you know, you, you've you built your business, you built your brand. And uh, thanks for coming back. You know, it's a, uh, definitely a pleasure having you here. Yeah, of course. I'm um, excited. Yeah, so you started your June. Excuse me, you started your your brand in uh, in June of 2021. Yes. Okay. That, yeah, that was when I like started officially taking bookings and really putting myself out there, like marketing wise and social media and all that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so now we're at like the two year marker, almost. Just about, yeah. And yeah. how's that feel? It's it doesn't feel like it's been two years, but then also has feel feels longer than that. I don't know. It's weird it's a weird concept to think of and I never thought that I would have my own business so it's still a lot of adjusting but it's really exciting though what makes it feel like longer than than you expected what do you mean by that I think because um I don't know that was that was right after I had moved home from living in Los Angeles which mm -hmm. I, we spoke about in the, the last episode and that just seems like such a long time to me <clears throat> like a long time ago where I was there and uh, yeah a lot of things yeah. have happened since then so yes a lot of things have happened in, in the time frame so it also like elongates it I hear you I hear you. that's 110 percent correct um yeah. and and nonetheless our first go around you know you and I we were talking we were talking about see it chats we were talking about picturesque we were talking about you traveling yeah um and nonetheless you know I realized I'm like damn I really didn't spend too much time on picturesque luxury picnics you know so like uh -huh. Let's go ahead and let's take advantage of that. Let's take advantage sure. of the second go around and let's let's like give the showcase to the luxury picnic lady herself, Miss Gina Marie here. <laughs> so how is business? Is it booming? Business is good. Yeah. yeah, especially coming into June and July. These are the the peak months of the year because everybody wants to be out in the, the nice weather and take advantage of it and do something, you know, different. Um, so coming into June, uh, I'm I'm like booked mm -hmm. like uh, for every weekend, even some of the weekdays. I know I can give a little clap a little for that, clap there, right? but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's doing well. It's doing really well in the winter. It's, you know, slower. Obviously, people aren't outside having picnics, but I've been trying to navigate through that to give different options to be able to still keep business flowing, but I still expect for it to still be slower in the winter because that's just that's just how the business is for this type of niche. You know, I had a question about like winter in itself later in a podcast, yeah. but we'll talk about it now. I mean, like, yeah. I feel like this winter was not as rough. So did that benefit you in a sense? I think so, because what I did different uh, this year was I bought this thing called a bubble tent. So I literally I just set it up myself and I do the same setup of a picnic, but inside the bubble tent. And then mm. I have this little portable heater that goes inside of it. So you're a little capsulated. Is that OSHA approved? Is that safe? Oh, uh, I'm sure it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I think it is. <laughs> um, so I, I've been doing that and that was good since it wasn't too cold i i was able to endure setting it up and all of that yeah and then people were still interested and in, oh like this is a cool idea if it were if it was freezing freezing i'm sure people just wouldn't want to be outside no matter what um so that was a new initiative i did which i think worked in my favor but it was my first year rolling it out so i think for this upcoming fall and winter season it'll get even better Mm -hmm. um, and then I've also been trying to push indoor picnics, which isn't really ideal, obviously, because you want it to be outside enjoying the weather. That's what a picnic is, is and what's, what it's for. But um, still creating something unique 
and intimate inside of somebody's home or um, like in a sunroom or something or at an Airbnb if somebody's visiting or if there's a bachelorette party happening, which I've been getting uh, a lot of inquiries about this year. Tough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's been the, the most popular for this year. So um, so I've been pushing those those initiatives to try to keep the flow going. So when it comes to like picnics, that's really good that you're doing that. When it comes to picnics, you know, you mentioned that picnics are usually outside, right? Yeah. But there's another part to your brand, which is a luxury part, you know? So like with you trying to push it indoors, it's not just a picnic. It also provides you, you provide like an essence to the place itself. You know what I mean? So nonetheless, you know, like it's, it could still 110% work out indoors, you know? So I think that would keep pushing it. And it's funny because I remember we mentioned uh, the bubble tent, the first go around too. I think, well, I definitely didn't have it back then. So we were talking did, about you getting it. Did I manifest that? Uh-huh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, we were talking about you because I was like, oh, wait, you know what? I think I got an idea for you. I was like a bubble tent. You're like, I'm That's, already ahead of you. Kev. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, all right, bet. So so now I have it. I've been using it. I used it a few times uh, this past fall and winter. So it it worked. Working effective. Yeah. Keeps the heat. Keeps the heat in. Yeah. And how many good. people can you usually fit up in there? I could do, I mean, comfortably up to between six and eight eight is pushing it so it's it's pretty big it's 12 by 12 oh okay uh bubble tent so as long as i just have one table in the middle and then everybody just kind of gathers around yeah that's sweet i love it good good for you man good for you you've been uh you've been killing it none you've been doing your thing and right here i have i have in my personal words i was like i was like yeah you know she's been adding to your within the year i'm like you've been adding to your arsenal showcasing your entrepreneurship and ingenuity by exceeding exceeding clients expectations building partnerships and being recognized for the services and work through the city you know so yeah hats off thank you Uh, yeah i appreciate it the real a lot of work the real (laughs) Yeah, there's a so, whole lot that goes into that. There is a lot that goes into it. Uh, let's talk about some of the packages that you have available. You know, we yeah. did mention a bubble tent. Um, that's more so winter, but since we're transitioning into the spring, you know, let's let's talk about some of your packages. I have a, a few of them definitely listed. You have a lot, okay? You do have a lot of packages. So, well, well the, you have four packages. Correct me if I'm wrong. Four packages, but the add-ons. Yeah, I have a lot of enhancements. And right now, it's really uh, three packages. Mm. There was one that I've been kind of in the works of doing Mm -hmm. but i haven't really um gotten everything that i need to actually create a package for it um so the three that i do have right now is just like the standard lux uh package which is just all of the standard inclusions um which is basically what everybody does get you know it comes with a lot of things that you would need you have the table you have the pillow set up you choose the the color the color theme you get the decor you get the whole tablescape and and all the place settings that you need for the amount of people that you have um and then i throw in a few other things like a bluetooth speaker a little um outdoor essentials kit which has like bug spray okay and (laughs) and tissues and band-aids you know like stuff like that you never know you need i like to think ahead of what people might need and um you know get ahead of that so that they're not worrying about anything or having to think other than what they're there for for whatever that occasion is so um that's like the basic standard package and then i also have the engagement package which is pretty popular as well for proposals and that includes the standard stuff um but then it also does uh includes professional photography which is the biggest add-on to that because Mm. you get Um, that session with a photographer you get those like raw reactions um, in in photos and sometimes I'm also behind the scenes you know taking videos (laughs) whenever I can and um, you also get a few other inclusions like fresh flowers Um, I'll do a walkthrough with you for the location beforehand um, just because a lot of the people who are proposing they want to know like where am I going to be walking where's the photographer going to be you know Mm. like all of that intricate type of uh, planning so that comes with the engagement package and then the third one which is the most recent I actually just officially launched it last week Mm -hmm. which is called the self-love picnic for one package so this one I've been working with um, collaborating with a friend of mine who she has a business called positivity media okay and um, what that package is is just for one person who wants some time for themselves 
to indulge in being alone, um, expressing, you know, self-love and self-care, and you just have a little picnic for yourself. Uh, it includes most of the, the same in, uh, inclusions, except for like some of the, the games that you would typically do with other people. But in this one, you would actually choose a, a self-love activity. Okay. Yeah. Which is um, off the top of my head. Okay. We have I, have, I have a screenshot. We can save it. I have a screenshot. Okay. Okay. All we, right. We could talk about all your, yeah, okay. it's, it's great. I love it. I love yeah. it. So you could choose uh, off of that. So those are the three packages that, that we have right now. Okay. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, your, your standard package, you know, you, you just rolled out the self, the self love package. How, how much, you know, time does it usually take and how much thought does it take for you to even roll it out? You know, cause you're, you're probably thinking about, um, planning on a social media market, how to push it. And, uh, do you like get a demographic from people? Do you ask around and see if people would be interested in it? Well, what I did was not necessarily asking around, but I did more research on other luxury picnics. Okay. And because I tend to do that a lot because they're popping up in a lot of places around around the U.S. Like it's it's becoming really popular, even outside the U.S. I've seen uh, luxury picnic businesses in England and Australia. So it's becoming really popular. So that's what a lot of my that's where a lot of my research comes from. Mm -hmm. Um just doing that type of market research and i saw some other ones who had something similar to this and i was like why can't you have a picnic for yourself like you could you know you're having a picnic with other people but this is also something unique that you can do for yourself mm -hmm. people like to sometimes go out to the park and just sit on a bench so you know do something a little more elevated something that's done for you mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about it and you do your little activity whatever it is that you chose you, we also include like a little um like recommendations for playlists and music that's oh. calming and relaxing and that's where positivity media where she kind of comes in and she curates those playlists and and recommendations um as well as like journaling prompts and stuff like that so um that's lovely that yeah. sounds awesome like yeah you know, I honestly feel like if I were to do one of those self-love picnics, I'd end up leaving crying. I'm being so honest with you. I feel like you're be, really looking inward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. I'll be looking inward because like, you know, um, from positive media, you know, the things that they add on, like just different things that you could do at that moment, you know, and inspect yourself, you know, yeah. out in the open instead of inspecting yourself in a mirror. Yeah. Could be kind of rough, you know, yeah. it could be kind of rough. So, no, yeah. I love that package. I think it's going to be great for you. I think, uh, and I didn't know that a lot of people do that. I thought you were like one of the first ones to do it. Well, I've only seen it uh, like less than a handful of times okay. through, for do other picnics, but they're like in, in other areas of the, of the States. So I haven't seen anything like that locally. Um, yeah, I think it's a beautiful thing to be able to create that moment, um, an elevated experience and they don't have to do anything really they just they just come hang out and then think listen. enjoy the nature and figure out life yeah okay you don't have to do intense drugs you could just get a picnic that's what i'm saying <laughs> no like, one are you like do, present do not endorse intense drugs <laughs> Yeah, we do not endorse intense drugs. Okay. Yeah, we do not. Just the legal ones. <laughs> intense drugs. Just the legal ones. Okay. Um, Wait, like, are you present during, like... Through like the one, picnics? Yeah, or, like, are you, like, kind of, like, somewhere no, else? Or? I... So, what I do, um, as, as actually in the standard package, I get a photo, if they're okay with it, and I actually print it for them. So, when they get there, I'm there. I take the photo and or video, depending on what they want, um... And then I leave and I, <laughs> yeah, like I'm not going to, I'm not going to stick around for whatever their event is, you know? Um, and then I come back when they're done. Oh, okay. You come back. Okay. Yeah. I was like, do they just like clean it up? And they're, no. this is your problem. I was <laughs> no, like, I, I come back and I clean up everything. You know, I try to do everything from start to finish where they don't have to really worry about anything. Like they hire me. I do all the coordination, all the planning, all the design, everything, yeah. assembly, disassembly. And, uh, that's all they got to worry about is come and enjoy themselves. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm trying to find a screenshot okay. of all the things that you have available for. Tell me that's the one thing I didn't screenshot. Tell me I folded. <laughs> I have the I have the fun enhancements. I have the fun okay. enhancements. Wow. I folded. Okay. All right. Gino, all right you know what? Off all the right. top of the dome. Oh, wait. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Are you sure? I got it. Yep. I got it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the four. Yeah. 
I, I would have been able to do it off the top of my head, but it's okay. Having <laughs> my fault. Excuse me. <laughs> you know, I gotta know these things uh, for respect. myself. Mm-hmm. You know, no, but it's good. Um, so you could either choose picnic and paint, which you have the canvas and paint and all of that stuff set up for you, and you just paint whatever you want. Um, vision board, where we give you all the supplies, uh, magazines, uh, poster boards, scissors, all that stuff, and. May I interrupt you real quick? What's yes. what's a vision board? Like what what is that exactly? So a vision board is something that you create uh, based off of how you envision you want your future to be. Oh, okay. Have you never heard of this before? Uh, you know, you you've told me about it. We've but like, spoken we've about we've this spoken about before. it, but we scratched yeah. the surface. Then you mentioned like magazines and, and so on and so forth, and I'm like, okay, wait, and there's a lot more to this yeah. than I thought. So the reason for the magazines is just because uh, for the visual aspect, it's easier to go through a magazine where there's already a lot of images and words that you can just cut out and you paste and hmm. you kind of make it into a huge collage of, of uh, things that represent what you want your vision i mean your future to look like Mm -hmm. so if you want to buy a new car by the end of the year you look through the magazine and you kind of see a car or the car that you want by the end of the year boom you put it on there um you look up some some words that you are inspiring to you um and you put them on there like if you want to um i don't know be better at time management this year or um, try to be more peaceful or more patient. You know, you try to find those words in there somewhere, cut them out, paste them, you know, stuff like that. Wow, that's pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. That's that's probably where I'd end up crying. Yeah. I already do a vision <laughs> board. I'd be like, all right, this is where you're going to go for. Yeah. So usually it's like within the year. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people do it at New Year's, um, which side note, I actually, uh, with Positivity Media, we tried to do a, an event earlier this year for New Year's. Um, it ended up not going through, which is totally fine. But um, we were going to do a vision board picnic event mm. where we collaborated and we actually provided all of these things and we sold tickets to uh, to do that. But unfortunately, it didn't go through this year, but maybe next year we'll try again. I'm sure you have your own vision board, right? Yeah, of course. OK. Yeah, I have. I always have to know the vision, stay motivated. <laughs> yeah. Um, OK. The next one, positivity activity book, which I believe is just like journal prompts and things that you could like write out and reflect on. I would love that. And then the flower arrangement DIY, which is what in our marketing, which is what what we show in our marketing, where you get a bouquet of flowers and you take the bouquet of flowers out. You get a little a vase or vase or whatever, how you say it. <laughs> and um, vase is water. Vas? Vas water. What? Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> um, so vase. Okay, a vase. And you take the flowers out and you cut them up and you do like a little arrangement. And it's very peaceful and relaxing. And it t- gets that creative, like creative juices flowing. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, those are the four, th- four things that you can choose from. So you choose one of those that's included in the package. But even if you want more than one. Um, you can add it on as well. Okay. Love yeah. it. Love it. Self, uh, the self-love package, brand new in 2023. Make sure you check it out. You know, I think that that's good, especially for people who are entrepreneurs or just someone who's looking to kind of get your head on straight, like the vision board. You know, like that's such a that's such a great thing. I do like that. I might have to make a vision board myself. I usually just write my goals down. Yeah. You know? But it's good to, as a visual, per, like if you are a visual mm-hmm. person, mm-hmm. it's good to see it. Like if you see the car that you want or if you see like... If you want to start dressing different or something like that, you have it's something that I actually that. shows it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm a visual person, so I like it. I need a new sense of fashion. It's funny that you say that. I'm so serious. <laughs> okay. I was talking well, to my one buddy. He's like, are you going to wear that? I was like, I thought I was. He was like, nah, bro. You got to switch so. out. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he just like he really shot did. your confidence really, down. Yeah. I was like, he said it. And I was like, you being serious? And he was like, yeah, bro, I'm sorry. I was like, Fuck, all right. Well, at least you have honest friends. That's that's the good part of that. You need them. You need them. And that's yeah. that's Mario, my get my best friend. So oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Mario, for telling me that. And like, good. And I asked him, I said, yo, bro. I said, fashion and I, like, I just never got it. And he's like, you know, I think it's more so you just never went out and tried to find it. And I was like, oh, he just he just did like a deep quote on you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he really hit me with that shit. So 
life's been life's been pretty fun you know <laughs> life's been pretty fun um but back back to our picnics here you know yeah. um you know you you've definitely uh, provided so many engagements you know they're all so beautiful they mm-hmm. the, the clients probably love it to death right yeah um do you have one in mind that maybe was so special and different from any other one? Oh yeah okay oh yeah, yeah. Her face oh my changed. gosh <laughs> yeah because i've actually been waiting for a moment where i could talk about this one. all right let's talk about it let's go this engagement was so crazy and it would be so funny if if they heard me talk about this because oh my gosh okay so i had this guy contacted me you know like the normal way to contact they put the inquiry in um we speak on the phone for a little bit to see what they're looking for what their vision is and all of that and get them confirmed and all of that um this was in january of this year so what he wanted was there was this uh i can't even call it like a park it's just like this little piece of land okay (laughs) that uh is in the middle of a lake it's it's like in the middle of a lake yeah so like they have the lake and then they have this little like island it's an island in the middle yeah it's it's a little island um and it has a, a little fire pit and um uh, like a little bench so it's usable people use it all the time this is like a public park uh n- i think it's a little more private okay i don't know but you gotta they, know someone they said yeah <laughs> yeah you know connections networking um so he wanted it on this little island because apparently this is where they grew up like they have a lot of memories Aww. here so it was like you know really cute um it's and it was it was the beginning of january so the lake was frozen over you know, and they do ice skating on there and you're able to walk on the lake to get there. There's, okay. there's nothing else to get there. There's no bridge. There's there's nothing else. It's just the lake. Oh, my. OK, OK. <laughs> I think you could I, see where I'm I going. I, with I, this. I think I see where this is going. Yeah. Um, and I had with with this package, it was it was the engagement I was doing. And then they also included videography and photography. So I had two other guys with me that day and um the week leading up to it as like you said earlier we didn't have a very cold winter (laughs) it was pretty mild it was like hitting 60s that week so i was like this lake is not gonna be frozen (laughs) when we get there so we were he had like some backup options just in case um it wasn't very frozen and we had to you know do something different still in the same vicinity but just not crossing the lake yeah um so i I get there right we decide to just go basically with, with the first option which is to do the island even though um it was a little warmer that week but what he did was he yeah what he did was he had um a few friends that were available the morning of okay and they went to the on location they checked the lake out they were like oh like it's still good you can still walk on it and um i was meeting up with these friends in the morning what do these friends know about a lake i don't know <laughs> like what do they know Apparently, that the common american doesn't know about that about a frozen lake apparently they've been doing this like their whole life okay All right. so i had to take their word for it okay so um that must be a nice job title i what to check lake them. checker lake <laughs> <laughs> ice checker um i feel like that would be a thing though like places where they do hockey on on the ice on the lake i don't know no nah, they don't do hockey on a lake you know how hockey's played if they hit each other and someone smacks you, you're going right through that ice on the lake. Okay. It's different. All right. On a, on a hockey rink. I've never even seen a hockey game, so what do I know? Um, <laughs> anyway, moving forward. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we get there, and I'm terrified. I'm, like, crapping my pants because I'm looking at this lake, and the outline of it is clearly melted. You can see the outline of it where it's water. So they, two friends, are there with me when I'm going to set up. They're stepping on it. They're going back and forth or whatever. But you can see you have to do a very intentional big step to get over. Um, And they're very much like, oh, it's fine. Like, it's okay. Like, we can do this. Like, this is is what they want to do. It's fine. 
like they're they're standing they're literally standing on it like come on it's fine you know and i'm like y'all are giving me a like i'm too young to have a heart attack <laughs> um and i'm also too young to fall into a freezing lake of water um so i step onto it i'm just crapping myself the whole time and but i do it i do it i do the whole setup i'm like all right, we're going to get everything from the car. They're going to help me do it. I'm only walking across it one time <laughs> and then I'm setting up and then I'm going across it one more time yep. and that's it. <laughs> and, um, but while I'm setting up a bunch of their family comes by cause they, they're like adding a few different things. Like okay. some of them brought like rose petals. I mean, I had rose petals too, but I guess they wanted like their own, um, and a few other things like, uh, personal details that they wanted to add. And um, they were, it was a huge family occasion, apparently. So they were all walking back and forth oh on this lake. Like, it was nothing. Nothing. No, not even, like, I heard no commentary about, is this okay? Like, nothing. So I'm like, all right, I guess we're fine. Like, I guess they know more than I do. I've never stepped on a frozen lake before. So um, I did it, right? The videographer and the photographer come and I'm like, guys, I'm just warning you right now. <laughs> like, you're going to have to do a big step and like, just please, for the love of everything, please be careful <laughs> because they're like going around them. They can't be really on the island. Mm. Like they were walking on the ice a little oh, bit. And man. then one of them was like off to the side of the it was it was it was scary. I was just like, please, please universe <laughs> they were rolling Please. nice there so thank god everything was fine nobody uh fell in my foot did fall in though Aww. nothing that, worse than wet socks yo yeah and then, <laughs> that was the worst um so my foot did fall in and that sucked and my foot was like really cold for the rest of the time um but then they so they do their picnic they do the engagement everything is good everything's mm -hmm. fine Everything's going the way that it should be. Once they, they have their two hours to have their picnic and everything, it starts snowing. <laughs> I don't do setups in rain or snow. Like, that's that's in my contract. Like, I don't do oh. that. I didn't know it was going to snow. Uh-huh. Uh, of obviously, uh, well, actually, not obviously. I don't know if they know it was going to snow. I didn't know. So this just like completely caught me off guard because I was in a different, I guess where I was looking at the weather, it was actually like a different area and we were very much up in the mountain. So mm. it was only snowing there anywhere else around it. It wasn't snowing. Um, so it starts snowing. I get back and I realize I'm by myself now. Ooh. Their friends aren't there. They're leaving. The videographer, the photographer is not there anymore. I had this moment of like, Oh, I have to do this by myself. So I actually, um, I was in contact with one of the friends because he was kind of like coordinating when the, you know, the, the fiance that had, you know, set everything up while he couldn't talk to me since he was with his girlfriend. Oh, okay. I was speaking with one of his friends who knew everything that was going down. It's a good friend. Yeah. So I actually contacted him and I was like, I'm really sorry to do this, but can you come back and help me? Because I, I couldn't do it by myself. Yeah. I was terrified. And the fact that everybody was walking back and forth, I'm like, this ice has seen a lot today. <laughs> I do not trust this ice at all, especially being by myself. Like what happens if I were to fall in? I'm by myself. Yeah. And there's no one there for a, a big radius. So <clears throat> he comes back, thankfully. <clears throat> Excuse me. He comes back okay. like I'm like so, so grateful for this guy. But again, it's snowing. So I get there. Um, he helps me. I kind of set everything up so that um, he said that he'll go back and forth so that I didn't have to. What a nice guy. Yeah, I was like, I was very grateful for him. Um, shout out to him. I'm sorry. I don't forget. I forgot his name. Frank <clears throat> Rob Bob. Sure. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like it was Frank and Rob, the fucking ice checkers. That's their, that's their job <laughs> title. Frank and Rob. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, yeah. So he goes back and forth while I'm just like on the island getting everything together. 
everything I have has like an inch of snow on it right now. Mm. Like it came down for, uh, I don't know, like half an hour, but it just really snowed. And I'm like, this is why I don't do this. Like, (laughs) I don't, first of all, as like a personal human being, I don't like snow. I know it's very opposite of you. Yeah, very opposite of me. I love the snow. I live for it. (laughs) Yeah, I don't do well with snow. And then on top of that, from a business aspect, like I shouldn't be doing anything because that can mess up my inventory. Mm -hmm. Like that's, you know, I don't do that. So (sighs) that's that's quite the story, quite the adventure. Yeah. Um, And basically at the end, he has everything on the other side by the car I'm doing my last walk across and I'm like, please, this is the last time I got to do this. Just let me get across. And you can literally hear it cracking Mm. as I'm walking. And he he kind of like comes across to like give me a hand. And he's like, but we can't step in the same place because, you know, all the weight. And I hear it cracking as I'm as I'm walking away. And uh, yeah, it was probably an unforgettable absolutely amazing day for that couple (laughs) but for me it was the most terrifying experience i ever had doing like in my business that is a great story yeah and i will never do it again (laughs) do not please do not ask me to do a picnic on on an island in the middle of a frozen lake I won't do it. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 terrible. I mean, honestly, from what it sounds like, Rob, Bob, Frank, whoever it was, yeah. um, you know, for the purpose of, of you setting up the event, you know, making his best friend happy. Yeah. He was like, no, nah, we're all good. Clear 100 percent. You're good. Gold, green light. <laughs> but then when when it started to crack, he was like, all right. So it's I. Right. So like <laughs> he was like, I. Right, so listen. <laughs> so like you remember how I told you it was fantastic. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. You know, so. Yeah. And yeah. Again, it was great for them. I'm sure like they're going to remember that day for the rest of their life. You know, that's what I do my business for. Those are the moments that I look for. But for me, I was, mm -mm, mm -mm, I can't. And I had to put some of my partners through that too. Like the photography Mm -hmm. and videography partner that I had. They got amazing content. Like they literally had a drone. Yeah. Like if we can somehow link that video yeah like it was get me the video we i got try to you. overlay it on top i got you 100%. it was it was super dope um the content came out absolutely amazing everything else perfect like perfect day that's awesome but that sorry i'm not doing it again <laughs> <laughs> um so you know you were saying that it was probably like one of their most memorable days one of the best days of their lives yeah um after the fact how often do people reach out just out of the blue and probably like check in and just say like hey i love what you're doing you're still doing a great job and uh you know they just feed you with positive reinforcement even when you weren't expecting it um i've gotten it a few times yeah yeah and i even i get reviews <clears throat> Tough. on google so they put in their their little sweet review about how they felt about it. So that's always nice to see. So you were working with photographers and you have a few partnerships here. You know, we're going to transition into partnerships that yeah. you have here. Um, who? Well, I guess we'll start off with the photographers. Who are the brave souls who stepped on ice with Gina? OK, so um, it was Lanco, which is um, Anthony Lanco Photo. He's my friend, a friend of mine. And also Fabio. Oh, Fabio Photo with the man. I love you productions. Um, yeah, those were the two that was with me. Okay. I yeah. Have a, I have a photo of us on that day. I was it was so cold. <laughs> like in the photo, you can literally see like my nose, it looked like Rudolph. <laughs> and I'm like, man, today was a day. <laughs> I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. Um, so we have the photographers, you got uh I'm sorry, Lan Lanco. Lanco. Yeah. And Fabio from I Love You Productions. Mm-hmm. Um, any other partnerships? You, you have a few. I, I. Yeah. I I actually have a lot. Sometimes I, I try to list them off. I screenshotted I, it. I always forget like all of them. But so I do have them. They're, they're my photography, um, videography partners. I have um, some charcuterie board partners with the. I just learned how to say that word today, by the way. Charcuterie. Yeah. Why? Because yeah, because of me. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to my coworker. I'm like, yo, how do you say this, bro? I'm you, like, he's like charcuterie, charcuterie, right? Okay, okay. Try again. Charcuterie. What am I saying wrong? Sh- no, say it. the second time you said it right. Charcuterie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, charcuterie. Have you had one? I just call it a cheese platter. 
Okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> called a charcuterie. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, a plate with meats and cheeses. <laughs> a plate, a plate with meat. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so I work with the charcuterie on Main Street. Like it's a little restaurant, and and they do like to go boxes as well. And then I just secured a partnership. Um, gather and graze. Oh, I hope it's not the other way around. I think it's gather and graze, not graze and gather. Yeah, gather and graze charcuterie. Um, this literally happened like within the past couple weeks, but they make really nice, like aesthetically pleasing charcuterie boards, which is absolutely amazing. Um, do you mind me asking when you're doing these partnerships, how often is it kind of like 50 50 as far as people reaching out to you and you reaching out to people, you know, other business owners or do they, do they come to you? Oh, some of them come to me. Okay. Yeah. uh, uh, Most of them, I would say like 90% of them, um, I reach out to them, but the other 10%, they come to me if they feel like, you know, they would benefit from having like the mutual partnership. Agreed. Yeah. There's got to be a benefit for both people. Yeah, of course. And it's really uh, a a lot about the promotion on each end. Like I'm using their charcuterie boards for these folks and now they know about this place that they can go get an amazing charcuterie board from. Yeah. And, um, I have a lot of other partners. I have a balloon decor artist, uh, which is Sydney from S yes, Studio. Yes, Studio S. Studio S. Excuse me. Studio S Events. Um, she even extended her her business uh, portfolio. Okay. Lately, like she's doing more events, like wedding styling and stuff like that too, which is amazing for her. Um, but for with the picnics, you, she just does like the the balloon decor. She's great at that, by the way. Shout out to you, Sydney. Yeah. Uh, she was on a Middleman podcast, episode 14. Yeah. And, uh, way in the beginning. Kanye and Queen. Actually, yeah. Kevin was the one that put me on to connecting with her because I was looking. Yeah. The Middleman doing his thing. Shout out. <laughs> there's a few. Honestly, I appreciate you saying that because yeah. um, there's been a few uh, moments recently that people are telling me like, yo, this would not have happened if it weren't for you mm-hmm. and what you're doing here. Yeah. And I'm like, that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> that's super sick. It's great that's to dope. hear. You're connecting people. And that's that's a big uh, perk. So, yeah, I work with her. Um, I also work with a few bakers. So Pocono Cookies, um, which is local here. Um, I work with Sugar Lush. Um, let's see what else. Oh, like I mentioned before, Positivity Media for like the self-love picnic. Um, Gather and Grays. I did have it correct. I have it here. Um and then I worked with some of the vineyards. So Blue Ridge Winery, Mountain View Vineyard, Sorrenti. Um, Sorrenti's see. so good. Sorrenti makes great pizza. Yeah. Absolutely um, amazing pizza. Let's see what else. I also work with a live strings band. Yo, yeah. Live hold strings up. music. That is, that is such an awesome package and add-on. Yeah. You know, have people Enhancing. been utilizing that? Um, it, Once. Okay. They have. It is like a really big add-on. Yeah. And then also trying to figure out like the availability between us. So somebody might want it on my end. I've had more inquiries than we've actually been able to um, like do it. What but, does that entail, that add-on? What does it entail entirely for people so they know? Yeah, so it, mostly people have been doing it for proposals, which okay. makes sense. Um, it's, uh, it's called Aviva Strings. That's the company. And they just have an arsenal of a lot of really talented musicians so violinists people who play the cello um i'm sure they have more instruments i'm not completely sure Mm -hmm. but i i know that they have all these amazing artists um string music artists look (laughs) wild 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 (laughs) like that that, oh yeah yeah, aviva Aviva strings i wrote a person like (laughs) wild 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 that's awesome that's so awesome so they choose like if they want to have a violinist they choose what type of music they want they do classical music but then they also do renditions of more popular music like actual pop music Mm -hmm. like taylor swift songs or uh, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. She's the first one came to my head. I don't even listen to Taylor Swift, so I don't know. But <laughs> I think they mentioned that one time that that was something they offered. So it kind of stuck. What, with Taylor me. Swift, Taylor Swift type vibe? Uh, yeah. That's like, hilarious. I don't know. Love, that's love Story. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's one of her songs. Um, but yeah, so they just, I connect them. 
Um, we figure out what they're looking for, and yeah, they're there for, and they'll play like throughout the whole picnic. That they is have this awesome. nice little ambiance. Yeah, yeah, that reminds yeah. me of uh, what's the one dog, Lady Eden Tramp. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Love it, <laughs> love it. That's absolutely amazing. Uh-huh. I think that that'd be a really great experience for someone who's definitely you know gonna get engaged to have that music playing in the background. It's subtle. It's it's nice. It's calming. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's definitely different. It's different to to a T. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Um, there's so much to talk about your business, but I know we also wanted to talk about you as a person. Yeah. So we're gonna try to like shimmy shack here, work it out. You know, a okay. um, little bit That's by cool. bit by bit. Um. Well, my, my first question for you on a personal aspect and a business aspect mm-hmm. was uh, when did you start earning that nickname of the luxury picnic lady? You know, you have a T-shirt of it. I do have a T-shirt of it. I was actually going to bring it today and I kind of I just forgot. I love that shirt. Oh. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got that made recently. It actually in January of this year. So it was a, a 2023 uh, addition to the business. Um, I am a self-proclaimed luxury picnic the luxury picnic lady okay i respect that so i want to make a name for myself in this area and um i mean i've i've maybe heard somebody say it once or twice and i've also heard it through like other businesses where they say like they're the insert here like whatever their niche is like Mm -hmm. they're the cleaning lady or like the whatever person so I was like the luxury picnic lady. I want to be, I want to make a name for myself and I want to make a brand for myself. And I want people to be able to recognize me as that. So, you know, got to gotta make your way and just, just do it. If you can so, talk the talk, you can walk the walk, girl. Yeah. And I think I'm doing really damn well. So I would say, yeah, you're killing it. You're killing it. Your social media page is is a me is is lovely. You know, I remember saying on the Sia chats, um, you know, when you were running that podcast, you know, I remember saying like the the ambiance, the essence, it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And even still with picture luxury picnics, you have translated that with your background of working on social media, you know, so so that's really, really good. And um, I just wanted to give you that compliment that you're you're still killing it on a social media platform right thank there. you i really do try like i do social media as like a, a part-time thing as well i do social media management mm-hmm. for other businesses so i try not to put my own business on the back burner you know because i'm it's just like a part-time thing that's something we don't really have to talk about but um yeah i i try really hard to to be intentional with my posting and uh i'm gonna be hitting a thousand followers organic followers this year so that's tough i know it doesn't seem like a lot but think about if there were like a thousand people in your apartment watching you that's a lot of people so it's a great point that's a win for me a win is a win a win is a win a win is the win gaining followers (laughs) um you know i was talking to shout out cj lopez i was talking to cj lopez the other day and uh I was just telling him about June, how, how things are rolling, you know, things are rolling, we're, we're on fire, we're cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, dude, you're about to be at like, I think it was 600 followers or something yeah. like that. And he was like, you were at like 350 when we had our podcast, something like that. Yeah, he's like, you were at like 400, something like that. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy. He's mm-hmm. like, you've been doing it for like, what, two months now? I think we've been back in business, you know, killing it, having a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Highs and lows. Um, My last podcast, my last podcast. I was sweating bullets, like sweating Mm. bullets. All right. Internally, I was folding like a lawn chair. Okay. (laughs) It was just one of those podcasts. You know, I thought I was prepared. I wasn't. Mm. It happens. Yeah. Um, It'd be like that sometimes. And yeah, I actually had to like, all right, hey, hold up. I'm I'm sweating bullets. Cut. You're like, okay. Yeah. Give me a second. Let me breathe. Let me relax. Yeah. I blame the coffee. It was Bustelo. It was Bustelo. It happens. Woman yeah. who travels. So you travel a lot. You know, we talked about I that do. on the first go around and uh, we love the traveling. <laughs> What's new? Yeah, I actually did a lot of traveling last year. So a lot of that is a lot of new. Um, I'm going to be hitting 19 countries by the end of this month. Sick. So uh, my birthday is at the end of the month on the 30th. Um, shout out to Gemini gang. Hey, <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like Gemini's, but I'm pretty cool. I swear. Um <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be going to Aruba. Okay. And that's going to be my 19th country. I'm really excited about. I've been a lot of places. Last year I added 
Ooh, okay, I added Dominican Republic, um, England. Oh, that's tough. Um, Fiji. Um, where else did I go? Uh, Belize. Oh my gosh, Belize and Guatemala. And yes, Guatemala. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got that. I think I think that's all the new countries from last year. I did a lot of travel that's last awesome. year. I was <laughs> that was like top of my game. I was I was very. I was in my my moment. I was very happy. Well, COVID sat you down for a year, so you were chomping at the bit to get out there again. Yeah, I was like, I need this in my life. I need to travel. That's like, that's where I'm really at my happiest. Like, I'm very happy doing like my business and doing other interests that I have. But when I'm traveling, I'm like, it's like all the worries in the world. Yeah, left behind. Yeah, don't even worry about them. Yeah, just live in a paradise. I love it. Um, you've done some pretty fun things. Uh, I, did I see that you were like co-pilot for like a plane or something? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's like, Hey, come in here. You're going to fly the plane. You ready? Okay. So I'll be honest. I wasn't doing a damn thing uh, on okay. that plane. <laughs> okay. uh-huh. It just looked like I was, and it was, you know, for the, the aesthetic for, for Instagram. It's good for the reels. Okay. Know? But, um, what it was, was in Belize, the Belize city is on the mainland, but then, um san pedro which is where i stayed it's like a little there's like a little string of islands off of the mainland okay. and you have to take this little this little uh charter propeller, propeller charter plane? plane yeah wow <laughs> to get there it's literally a 15 minute flight like Sick. you literally just go up and then you go down again and um i mean you could either do that or you could take uh, like a boat it's like an hour boat boat ride but i was like i'm gonna go on the plane mm-hmm. like that's pretty dope and then um so the the first time when I went to the island, I wasn't in the the co-pilot seat. I was just in the back with everyone else. But then on the way back, they were all full. And I had actually, fun fact, I had missed the, my flight that I needed. And yeah, you were missing flights and stuff. <laughs> actually, you that missed is, a train last time. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was bad. That was that, in was, ja- that was in Japan. Uh-huh. But I still made my flight. Mm-hmm. I st- this was actually the only time in my life that I actually missed a flight. Oh. Like, yeah. Where And, and the thing is, I didn't actually miss it, like, time-wise, but the check-in time mm-hmm. had cut off. So they couldn't allow me to get on that one, even though I was technically on time. But, yeah. Anyway. Um, so the the plane was full, and they were like, do you want to go in the co-pilot seat? And I was like, hell yeah. Like, what? <laughs> you mean yeah i'll fly this plane Hell what are you yeah. talking about <laughs> oh yeah that's awesome i would i would have done the same thing but like oh get out the seat boss I yo got but honestly he wasn't even doing anything like the actual pilot huh. they just throw on the autopilot i swear i was looking at him like why aren't <laughs> your hands on the wheel even well did he have to like launch first and yeah then put, okay yeah all so right. like they do all of that whatever yeah. and then he does this little doop, switch and then he's just <laughs> that's awesome and i looked at him I'm like what that's normal that's really what they do like okay and everything was good so he was just chilling till we had to land again so that was in belize correct yeah okay so belize. belize uh i saw in guatemala you took mm-hmm. a nice hike a beautiful yeah. hike Talk i was on a volcano yeah active volcano sick that was really dope reckless yeah <laughs> yeah um no but it's like a thing out there you go you do the hike on the active volcano it's a it's a thing you do when you go to guatemala okay yeah and but the the thing is you have to have a tour guide go with you you can't just Makes willy-nilly <laughs> like <laughs> you can't willy-nilly just go up the up, up the the volcano like oh i'm gonna do this today you have to have a tour guide go with you um and you get up to the top take some pictures and then there are some areas where you can literally see the steam coming up from the ground Mm -hmm. so what we did was we brought a bunch of ingredients to make pizzas okay (laughs) super random okay (laughs) but it was what something they offered they were like you want to make pizzas on the volcano we were like why why wouldn't we who wouldn't yeah what kind of question is that? Yeah, let's get some. Does pizza. a bear shit in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So we had these in- these ingredients for the pizza, and they literally like made the pizza over the steam of the volcano. Wow. 
Yeah. And we all right. Give you a Lunchables <laughs> to go up there with. No, let I'm me <laughs> let me tell you something though. Oh, we also had wine, so it was like it was good. Pristine. Yeah. And but the first pizza that they made, the steam wasn't that hot that day. Oh. And it was also very windy. Like extremely windy. Which um it, it wasn't like that all the time because uh, one person that we were with had done it before and she was like, Yeah, it was not this windy before. Um but because of those two things, it was kind of difficult to actually cook the pizza. So it took a while. And then by the time they were like, OK, like, we're just going to call it. I think you guys can eat it now. <laughs> I <laughs> even, think. Though, <laughs> even though it's not fully, fully cooked like the way that we would eat it. Yeah. But um, we were it was we were still able to eat it. But I was the one of the first ones to try it. And there was lava rock all up in this pizza like what? i took i guess from the wind uh-huh like you know little pieces of of the lava it's rock pepper. was that's what it looked like and i took a bite and i swear i broke like three teeth <laughs> like it was i was crunching on it but i'm like i'm so hungry it's so good <laughs> Oh, it's so good. It's for the experience, and I'm literally eating lava rock. Wow! So you can and, say you've done that. Putting it down with wine. Yeah. No, a little bit of yeah. dirt never hurt. You know. No, I was good. I was like, but can I try the other ones that don't have lava rock in it? <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, but where it was to, the experience. A good story. Where to next? So where where are you going next? I know you just mentioned it. Um, <sighs> get it back. A it starts with A. Aruba. Aruba. Every time I think of Aruba, I think of that one song. I don't even know how it goes. I just think Aruba. Na, 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 oh yeah, that na, is na, it. Na. That's the lyrics. Honestly, yeah. I would have even thought about it. I think he about says it. Aruba. Yeah. I don't know. Mike, fact check. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm going to Aruba for my birthday. Uh, Exciting. Group of people by yourself. Um, with my partner. Okay. Cool. Tough. 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 Good for yeah. you. Yeah. Um, this laptop just froze here for a second. Oh no! So yeah, it's, uh, does that does that mean we stopped recording? Well, possibly. Yeah. Um, uh, Kokomo song by the yeah. Beach Boys. Aruba, oh Jamaica. yeah, Beach Boys. Yeah, Ooh, that's I want to take you. Yeah. yeah. Bermuda, Bahama, come on, pretty mama. <laughs> so is Aruba in there at all? Yeah, it's the first one. Aruba, oh, okay. Jamaica. Okay. That's dope. Awesome. Yeah, I was Beach right. Boys. Thanks, thanks for that fact check, bro. I appreciate it for sure. Thank you so much. Um, all right. So, so we, are we still recording? Yeah, yeah. We're still recording. And okay. I, and I probably recorded all the way through. It's, all right. I need a new laptop. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it's, it looks like it's still working. We're getting another Let's camera. See. That's the first thing, you know, so we're going we're gonna to work things out. But nonetheless, <laughs> we are getting to the end of the show, mm -hmm. okay? Um, you do have a little bit more time. There's one more thing that you want to talk about before we cut things off, but then after that, we're going to start wrapping things up. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Personal aspect. I don't know. Um. I don't know. If you're good, then then I'm good. I mean, we still have yeah. tea time. Oh yeah. Still have tea time. So yeah, I have a. You had mentioned uh, doing like a story, or something. Me? Like no, you were saying for tea time. That's like kind of what it oh, is. Oh, I got like, like having, five stories. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah I I, no, yeah, I have a good story from this week that's it's actually a, another travel story because i just came back from puerto rico mm -hmm. like a couple days ago um non stop so, yeah <laughs> on the go <laughs> i try honestly it's difficult and i know that in like june and july it's gonna i'm not really gonna be able to go anywhere mm -hmm. uh, with business and probably august and september too once that starts to start rolling in but yeah all right you know. well with that being said, you know, this is the part of the show where we give the guests the floor to speak anything, say whatever you want to the audience. You know, the floor is yours. Okay. Um, well, message. I think, well, this isn't the tea time, right? No, this is just like okay, final messages. Just like, yeah. Okay. Right. So I think I had mentioned this in the last podcast where you you did the same thing. You're like, you give this, the time to just say whatever we want, like to leave on a whatever note that we want mm -hmm. um and on the last episode i remember speaking about like going with the flow of things that make sense for you and you're gonna end up um getting to where you want to be and and you know just like trying not to go 
I remember using the phrase against the grain of things. Okay. And I remember saying that because I was at a point in my life where I had just moved back from LA and there was some things I was doing where I felt like was quote unquote, like against the grain of things where in my gut, I felt like maybe I shouldn't be doing these things or I should be doing other things to propel me further in my life. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's kind of piggybacking off of that um, as an entrepreneur, as someone who likes to travel a lot, as uh, I also am a self-proclaimed like serial creative. So I like to. <laughs> OK, yeah, <laughs> I like I do a lot of creative endeavors. So as somebody who does that and has experience in that, I just want to say that when you feel something in your gut, go with your intentions because I've been through a lot of experiences for myself where I don't listen to my gut or I don't listen to my intentions. And it just puts puts me in a, in a place in my life where I don't feel comfortable or I don't feel like I'm supposed to be. Um, and whenever I do finally follow my gut and go with things that make sense for myself and I'm mixing that with my ambition for moving forward in my life it puts you in spaces that help you project yourself into more success and more connections and more fulfillment so yeah that's that's how i want to end it because that's that's a huge thing for me and something that i've been having to learn for myself throughout these past years especially with building a business appreciate that insight you know appreciate that insight just yeah. keep keep going you know and i remember the middleman monday um if you don't stop literally won't stop yeah and i was the one that that you was know, me we quoted out for you i said that so and yeah. it's true same thing if, if you, you don't stop you're not gonna stop look at her now what <laughs> almost two years two years later you business just, is booming yeah i mean sometimes stuff gets in your way and you have roadblocks or you might have to like deter a little bit but as long as you stay true to yourself and you know what you need and what you want and you're willing to like do that reflection mm-hmm. and, and know what how you're trying to move in your life, it's going to come. And then when you accomplish that goal, you feel fantastic. You know, I often say, wow, we just pulled that off. So, yeah. Thank you, Gina Marie, for coming back to the Middleman Podcast. Anyone looking to schedule themselves a picturesque luxury picnic, make sure you check out our website at www picturesque luxury picnics it's going to be right down here hopefully typed out mike looks spaced out yeah (laughs) (laughs) but with that being said we're going to end the middleman podcast here we're going to transition into tea time not brought to you by but inspired by arizona iced tea once again i am the man in the middle kevin martinez signing out peace